I'm Nadine Thornhill, sexuality educator. Happy New Year! If you are like me and you are just coming off of a break, then I hope you had a great holiday. I really enjoyed my time off, I spent lots of time with my family, I saw friends, uh, did all kinds of things. It was a really good time. One of the things I did uh, just this past weekend is I went to see Hidden Figures. The movie is based on the true life stories of Katherine Johnson, who is played by Taraji P. Henson, Dorothy Vaughn, who is played by Octavia Spencer, and Mary Jackson, who is played by Janelle Monet. And these were three black women who essentially worked as human computers at NASA during the 1960s. I love this movie. It just made me so happy to see a movie where black women were the heroes. It was super refreshing to watch a movie that celebrated female intelligence and, you know, the specific type of empirical, rational, you know, intelligence. Women who were, you know, amazing at mathematics and who, you know, were in tremendous engineers and had brilliant scientific minds and who were accomplished and ambitious. That was just really, it just felt really good to see that represented on screen. Uh, that having been said, I'm not reviewing the movie here today, but I do want to talk to you about how you can use this movie to uh, start some, I think, pretty important conversations with your kids or teens. This is definitely a feel-good movie. It's a movie that I think a lot of families with kids could go and could enjoy. Now, you know, there's no violence, there's nothing, like, obviously scary. I don't remember there being any swearing, there's definitely no nudity. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this movie for really young children just because there's a lot of talking and a lot of it is about, you know, fairly advanced mathematics and engineering and that could get a little boring for them. I took my almost 10 year old and there were like a few parts that went over his head but Overall, he understood what was going on, he understood the concept, and he was very much into the, you know, space and rocket ship aspect of the movie. So yeah, definitely if you have like school age kids, like older school age kids, and for sure like tweens and teens, absolutely I would say this is an appropriate movie for them. Even though Hidden Figures does have some, you know, romantic moments, it's a very, very minor subplot, it's definitely not the focus of the movie. The focus is on the women and the work that they do, so this actually might not seem like the most obvious movie to use if you're trying to start a conversation with your kids or your teens about sexuality. Throughout the movie, the three women, and then even some of the other characters, have to constantly push against this sort of, like, gentle but constant current of racism and sexism. And, you know, in this movie it's not overtly violent or scary, you know, nobody is physically harmed and nobody is even threatened, but it's just this constant reminder that, you know, the people who are in charge at NASA and the people who are in charge in their communities and then, you know, even broader American society doesn't see them as fully human because they're women and because they're black. I think that talking to kids about oppressive systems like racism and sexism and other types of bigotry are actually essential because being aware and then being able to fight against those systems um, is part of what allows them to have healthier, more positive sexual and romantic relationships later in their lives. And it makes it easier for them to do things like practice consent. I think it makes them more likely to treat people of different genders and different sexual orientations, you know, decently and with kindness and compassion. Um, I think it makes it easier for them to honor their own boundaries and honor their own values when they find themselves in relationships. So even though, you know, these issues may not be directly about sex or sexuality, I definitely think that there's a strong relationship between, you know, how youth see other people and then how they behave in their relationships. Anyway, if you are going to see Hidden Figures and you are taking your kids, then these are some questions you can ask them about the movies to get some conversations going. And as always, feel free to put these in your own words and you certainly don't have to ask all of them. You can just pick one or two, whatever feels good for you. So in the movie, Mary Jackson decides to go back to school to study to become an engineer. And her husband gives her a gift of mechanical pencils. 
do you think that was a romantic gift? And why or why not? In the movie, uh, Catherine meets, I think he's a colonel, so we're gonna say he's a colonel, Colonel Jim Johnson. And uh, during their first conversation, she tells him about her work and he's surprised that NASA lets women uh, do complex mathematics. So why do you think he was so surprised? And after he expresses his surprise, Catherine pretty quickly shuts him down and she does not have time for that. So why do you think she was so upset or offended? So in the movie, we see that the black women are segregated. They're separated. They have to work in a separate building. They have to use a separate washroom. They have to sit in a separate section on the bus. They have to use a separate section of the library. They even have to drink out of a separate coffee pot. What message do you think that segregation sends to people? And how do you think that segregation makes people feel? Can you think of any examples of segregation that exist today? Why were some of the men at NASA so worried about letting the women see the same information they had or go to the same meetings that they could go to? So just a few questions, but uh, I hope they're helpful in getting some interesting conversations started with your kids. In the comments below, let me know if you've seen this movie, if you, you know, took kids to see it and what you all thought about it. That's all. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.